Welcome to another travel edition of Great Health, Fun, and Happiness and Outrageous Love. We're here in the Hamptons. Kiki. Jeffrey. The Hedges. We are at the Hedges Inn in East Hampton. And if you look out the window, you really get a feel for exactly where we are because it's that pond that is so notable um, as you enter into East Hampton specifically. I love these little window boxes too. The flowers here are magnificent. You can um, see down there on the fence. They're just absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, again, we've stayed here for several nights. So the room, we made up the bed to make it as best we could, but not nearly as beautiful as the um, housekeeper who I cannot recall her name. Jeffrey, do you recall her name? No, I didn't meet her. Okay, so anyway, she's been here 13 years. She is so lovely, um, and she is an amazing housekeeper. I mean, everything. You can just tell that she takes a lot of pride in this particular um, inn, and it, as if it's her own. And for all I know, maybe it is. I don't know. I know we do know because it's under new management, right? Yes, yeah, so um, new management team came in. They were really lucky with the team that they have. Um, you know, everybody that we met, one person's nicer than the next. I'm going to do a quick uh, show through here. We're going to rate this on one to five pearls, but bathroom, I love these floors. Nice shower. So this. And Jeffrey, I just want to point out, because this is always a sign, you know, you're going to pay a higher rate because of the location. But sometimes you pay a higher rate and you're not getting higher quality. And you really are here. So they have the Loctane and they also have, I'm really excited that they had this um, shampoo and conditioner and body gel because as I read the ingredients, I'm really into clean ingredients. And the company that I used to buy from and that I actually wrap Beauty Counter is no longer. So I'm always looking for new clean products. And these are uh, manufactured in California, which, as you know, they're very, very strict um, on the regulations. Beautiful towels, Jeffrey, just beautiful, thick, white towels. The shower is really powerful. And, and this, this is a real old, and what I was going to say is I think it's, uh, I was reading there, it's 250 years old or thereabouts. Exactly. I'm going to look right. it up as you're, you're talking about this, so I'm just going to check this exactly. out. Exactly. Okay. And so to clarify, we're in room nine. I think there are 13 rooms in the entire inn and every room is different. Um, basically, it's like an individual bedroom and each one is designed very differently. Um, please note that they have completely renovated the, um, the deck and the outdoor space as well as the entire first floor and it's absolutely stunning. It's super clean lines, beautiful wood floors, you know, wide plank. And they are going to start the renovations on the bedrooms, I believe, in the end of September. In, in the fall, yeah. And just for right. clarification, it's a 242-year-old home. I'm reading here in the uh, guest uh, rules, the house yeah. rules. So 242 years. So you know, it's it's an old inn, which you know has such great character, uh, great bones. It's such such a great. Um, Location, I'll, I, I'm a, I put up a short, I haven't put up a short, you'll see it I'll tag to this video of okay. walking into the hotel because it's so pretty. Right, But and then I also want to note, again, this is very reminiscent of, of anywhere in the Hamptons, especially the older buildings. We see this a lot when we stay on Nantucket as well. These splits, these are magnificent for, um, you know, air conditioning. And note that they have a lot of amenities. There is a fee for um, I think for everything, I don't really know. Yeah. We, we, it's not, we don't really partake we, in yeah, the stuff, but, partake, but nice big uh, fridge. Several different wines, which I think is really terrific. And they've got a Faust um, Napa Valley, which is a really nice wine. I mean, these are higher end products. These are not your um, grocery store wines. And then they've got the San Pellegrino. Yeah, and there's a Frigidaire in every room. This is really amazing because usually you see the little standard hotel fridge, which is obviously just fine. But this is, and again, when they um, redo it, I believe they're gonna change out the yeah. floors. But you can see this is completely full and stocked with mixers, champagne, um, and again, high-end products. Nothing in here, um, well, except for coke. <laughs> um, but you know, they've got the, um, the Harmless Harvest and um, Perrier, uh, Perrier uh, uh, 
Pure Air. Um, they just have a really high-end line of products. Jeffrey and I had coffee up here this morning, and I have to point out their mugs because it's got the Hedges logo, and I just love them. They have another one that's even bigger, which I love. So yeah, this place is great. We're going to be coming back here too. Yeah, so we'll, we'll do another room because each one's unique. And here's the list of the mini bar. Um, so the, you know, the, the champagne is um, 90. Uh, the cab, which is a really nice cab, is 120. These are higher end products. But if you don't want to go to the store, and you're going to probably pay a similar price at the store because everything in the Hamptons yeah. is just a little more expensive. <laughs> we are out on the island and it is harder to get to, so you have to understand that. Anyway, let's do our five pearls, Jeffrey. Okay, so one to five pearls on the location. Uh, this location, I'm just going to kick off. Yep. As we said, you know, right here, if you just go out here and bang a right, uh, that's, that's the uh, Swan Pond here, you'll be in town uh, inside of a mile. So I think it's about a half mile to three quarter of a mile to town yeah, it's and a everything perfect walk you don't have to worry about parking which you know if you've not been to the hamptons parking in town is difficult because it's one hour parking they do ticket um there's some areas where i think where you can do two hour parking but if you're going to be in town chances are you're going to be in town for longer than that anyway just you know to enjoy yourself sit down have a cocktail somewhere or whatever yeah i'm glad you brought that up because i think that's one of the key things if you're down here um we haven't moved the jeep at all we're just going right. back we walk to restaurants walk to see the kids everything's a walk it's a great walk coming back helped helped wear off my margaritas last night and you know um you don't have to walk around and, and you know you're drinking cocktails out here and stuff so that's a nice thing to not have to uh take a uber even right so absolutely and they do um you know monitor people drunk driving so um it's really important not to have your cocktails and get into your car anywhere anywhere yeah anywhere let's just preface it <laughs> yeah. anywhere obviously but rest assured that if you do it here there's a really good chance you're going to get stuck yeah so um and you know as it should be so um location is five plus pearls um let's talk about sleepability and quietude this is a queen bed, which usually Jeffrey and I are used to a king bed, although we have slept in a queen as well as a double. And I have to say it was really comfortable. Yeah, yeah, it was, a, it was yeah. fine, yeah, fine. And you know, even though we're right out here on, on a busy road, um, you know, these windows are pretty good. So I didn't hear a lot of uh, road noise. I didn't hear any road noise. Now, the only thing that I will say is these pillows are really foam so on the pillows for me they were a bust um, because I have to have and one thing I really appreciate is and even the lower end hotels are doing that this is a, obviously a more expensive you know higher end in um, but usually they'll have one of each you know so they'll have maybe two foam and then two real squishies these are all foam pillows so for me that was a bust I give the pillows a zero only because I am I don't like them Jeffrey, on the other hand, likes foam pillows, so... Well, no, it was, it was fine, but so let's give, I'll probably give sleepability here um, a four and a half. I think I, that's, fa that's fair, I think right? that's fair, because yep. the bed and the sheets were really soft. The bed and the sheets made up for it. Um, they didn't have a super heavyweight comforter, but I think they're very cognizant of the fact that this time of year in the Hamptons is super hot and can be really humid. Right. And a lot of people will not be, appreciate a heavier weight comforter. So I agree with Jeffrey, 4.5 pearls for sleepability. And then right. one to five pearls, the staff, you already touched upon it. One person's nicer yeah. than the next. I mean, I, I, I just have to give them a five. And I was just talking to the gal downstairs. I gotta get the names because they're incredible, but she's uh, working on her English and helping me with my Spanish. But they, they make the best scones here, and oh. I'm a scone aficionado. Gosh. Probably the best scones I've ever had. I can't wait to go down and have my scone. Right, so the breakfast chef, she is incredible. And you'll see, I think we did a short, if not, we'll do one and, and tag it to this. It looks like you're somewhere in, in France at a little bakery with the spread that she puts out and she does, makes everything fresh daily. They've also been super sweet and cognizant about the fact that um, I'm vegan. They have vegan yogurt that they offer. They don't keep it out, but they bring it out as special for you. Yeah, I'm going to get that again. That was fantastic. It's, it's so sweet, so great. And they offered to make whatever we wanted, um, which we didn't ask for anything because I'm personally not a breakfast person. So it worked out fine for me. But um, yeah, shout out to the pastry chef 
and shout out to the woman that and we don't know her name that Jeffrey was talking to down there she has um, heated up my tea for me I travel with this tea that I drink every morning and she's just so sweet about it she's like absolutely like I she's so happy to make you know that little extra effort for me whereas I've been other places and it seems to be a you know some people aren't as excited to help out they're busy they're whatever she's just so sweet she makes me feel so um, like I'm not imposing to yeah. ask her help on that well I'm gonna, I'm gonna get her name and we'll get it we'll put it up the and, next yeah. video but and, um, uh, there's uh, Liza and um, Kirk Kirk's been here eight years at the front desk he is so wonderful um, and again, makes you feel very welcome. And, and um, Liza, also, she helped us with another reservation. She's just been so helpful. We, we met Adam last night, who's going to be running the bar at the restaurant. Right. He's fantastic. Had a great conversation with him. And then also, Soraya. Soraya who is, she's, um, I, I, I get the feeling she, at this point. I think point, she's run, running the place, she's, right? Yeah, she's, she's in charge of the ship right now. And they just took over. Um, and there is a brand new restaurant, and we'll do a review on that. That's opening next week, and we're really excited to try that. Yeah, they're, so, they're, it's pretty famous in the city, in yes. New York City. So uh, they've done very well. They're bringing it out here. So, yes, and yeah, I it's, might be mispronouncing it, but it's Sartiana, um, and it's named after um, Scott Sartiana. Again, I apologize, Scott, if I'm mispronouncing your last name. I'll get it correct for the next video. Um, but it's a famous, really... Um, uh, Excellent. I believe Michelin star rated. Um, definitely the chef is, is James Beard. Um, uh, yes. Star chef. I, I read that, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be incredible. Again, it's just, it's very quaint and charming. I'm really excited to see the upgrades next year. So we will stay here again next year to see how they upgrade the rooms on par with the beautiful job that they do. Okay, just to finish off with the last two ratings. So uh, one to five pearls on cleanliness. Oh, I mean, I have to give... I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb and say five plus because this building is so old and usually in a building that's so old you'll look in the corners and it'll feel a little bit dirty even though it's clean it's not they've even cleaned across the top of the closet um, it's immaculate they've cleaned across the top of the baseboards another thing that is a pet peeve of mine when you look and it's just never been cleaned. I feel like it's cleaned every single time the room is cleaned. So, um, Kirk. she's incredible and such a sweet lady. Like I said, she's been here 13 or 13 and a half years. She's yeah. Incredible. Yeah. And the last thing we always rate is the coffee. Yes. And, uh, you know, the coffee is fantastic here. As Kiki already mentioned, the, the mugs. Um, the only thing I'd say, it uh, co goes out a little late for me. Um, I like to get up early and I'm out, you know, I'm, a lot of times I'm up at five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, you know, I went out for a jog down to the beach yesterday to keep myself busy, but they don't put the coffee out until 7.30. I was out early this morning, I think it was 7.15. Yeah. But the coffee's fantastic, but because I have to wait for it, I'm going to give them a 4.5. Well, and I personally, because I was fine with getting my coffee, Jeffrey brought it to me in bed like he does. Huh, strange. <laughs> Beyond grateful for that. Um, and it's piping hot, and throughout the day they put it out fresh. They also have um, half and half regular milk and uh, almond milk, which I'm more than grateful for that they have that. They also have uh, boiling hot water, which I love because sometimes if I'm drinking coffee or tea, sometimes I like to add that and it's piping hot. I mean, yeah. Roaring boil. Well, the coffee service when it's out there, it's a, it's, it's a, it's five it's pearls. A, it's five I'm just, pearls. I'm just uh, right. ding it because it's, it comes out late. But you know, I, I say this in a lot of our videos. You know, we stay in a lot of uh, high end hotels and uh, you know the first tier, right? right. Uh, low end, like you know a courtyard or um, residence in those types. Right. You know, the higher end hotels, I find that we have to wait for a barista to come in at many places. And a lot of places, you know, you have to pay a lot for coffee if it's, you know, not including breakfast or whatever it is. Um, the lower end hotels, it's, it's, it's there, it's hot, it's always 24 by seven. So I kind of like that when I go down at 4.30 in the morning, they have right. coffee. But uh, this place is great, we're it's, coming back here. We are, we, this is a, definitely will come back. In fact, we've already booked our next stay and we request a different room you know, just so that we can give you a video to show you the differences in the rooms. So, and I think we might even be in two different rooms. So stay tuned for that. I do want to add when you stay here, breakfast is included. It's 
just again a beautiful breakfast will tag a short of the breakfast um and you know price range this is on the higher end i'm you know well everything in the hamptons is so it's, it's close to a thousand bucks a night right and, for a room here and some of the rooms over a thousand some just under a thousand so um you know bear that in mind when you're coming here and the rooms almost all the rooms allow a maximum of two people there are a few rooms that allow a three so um but make sure that you check before you book. They are not pet friendly. And one other thing that we learned about it, it's an adults only. Yeah, so, that's interesting. Um, I just read that this yeah. morning, yeah. And Jeff and I are kind of getting into the, when it's just the two of us traveling, we're kind of getting into the adults only for just when it's the two of us. Again, we're huge family people. We spend a lot of time with our own kids and now our first grandson, who's just a precious little bundle of joy and it's turning eight and a half months right now. On that note, wishing you great health, abundant happiness, and outrageous love from East Hampton, New York, the Hedges Inn. Yeah, and to take this back to the South Fork, so if you're not familiar with the Hamptons, uh, are down in the South Fork, the North Fork, there's a lot of uh, wineries out there and still a lot of farmland and homemade pies and stuff, it's great.